It feels like disaster to us because we're two hours away from home and our car's broken down. We're David and Sarah. At the end of 2021, we packed up our lavish Aussie lives into four suitcases to do a two year working holiday in Canada. The awesome sights and experiences you're about to witness are the result of two people prioritizing fun, adventure and each other over financial security, career goals and social ideals. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Good afternoon everybody. From Calgary here in Alberta. We weren't actually going to film today but disaster struck here in Calgary. Not really but it feels like disaster to us because we're two hours away from home and our car's broken down. And we don't know what to do because we can't get a hold of any mechanics. It's, it's a Sunday. Sunday, it's Mother's Day. Um, so yeah, here we are. I've just gone to Canadian Tire to buy a scanner tool for the car's computer. Uh, I don't even know how to use it. I don't know what I'm doing at all, but I'm gonna give that a try, see how we go. See if we can get any direction on the problem. Um, we've lost power steering. The service light came on on the dash and we're stuck. We're stressed out to drive home like that because we, the bears are out now and on the way home there's a long kind of period where there is no reception. So if we get stuck, we're gonna be freezing cold with no reception, like they would, they, we'll have no way to survive. Basically, we'll, we'll, probably, we'll die. probably perish. In the um, and the bears that's will a bit probably dramatic. Eat us. But yeah, we're happy to drive home if it's just power steering because it is electric power steering, so we can technically drive it um, how it is. It's just a lot harder. But if there is other problems, we don't want to get stuck hours from anywhere in the middle of the road. So, so do we stay in Calgary tonight, which we can't afford to do, and we need to get home because we have work the next day. Or do we end up fixing the car? We have no idea at this point. No idea. We've prayed about it. Stay We've tuned. prayed about it. God's gonna make a way. So this is a tool we just bought from Canadian Tire. I've heard of them, I've seen them, but I've never used one and I've got no idea what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna read some instructions. The instructions said to download an app and apparently the app is not available in our country. So we'll try a different phone. See what happens. So. Oh. It's at times like these where we don't feel like we want to vlog at all, but we want to show you guys the real, the real bits of travel. The times where you're scared, you're not sure how it's going to end, you're not sure what's going to happen. Well, that's helpful. It's showing it has zero errors when it clearly does have an error. So I was reading on Google and they say maybe this tool can't read all the errors. So I don't know what the point of it is. But basically we are stuck in the same position as we were before. So... We don't really know what to do. We're back to square one. We might have to start looking for some accommodation because we can't risk driving and then something more serious happens because of this light because we don't know what the light is for yet. And we're stuck in the middle of nowhere with no reception and it's just not good. But we're gonna take this back and get our $73 back because that was absolutely useless. And I don't know why they're selling them here if the app that you need to use it is not even available here. I'm all out of ideas. Sarah's reading the owner's manual, so that says something. I do not read this stuff, <laughs> and I'm like trying to read it to figure it out. Yeah, it's a really tricky situation. It was just the power steering it'd be fine but we can't be sure and we don't have any friends or family we can just call if we get stuck in the middle of nowhere so hmm who knows we've decided to drive to canadian tire apparently their repair shop is opened um 
well, look, it looks like we're going to have to stay here overnight, which is not ideal at all because now we have to find accommodation, pay money for it. We haven't been paid. We've been unemployed for about five weeks. So... But hey, this stuff is what grows you as a person. At home, it would just be like, oh yeah, no worries, call the tow truck. But here it's just like, how can we do this and still survive financially? This day has just, you know what's funny, this morning I said to David, should we take the cameras and vlog like a day in Calgary City? And he was like, no, and I was like, ah, I'll just take the cameras anyway, so that we can um, take some photos, just in case we see a bald eagle or something. Took the cameras, and this happened. We broke down, we're staying in Calgary. Didn't plan this at all. Like, this is travel, guys. Things like this happen. <laughs> you just have to roll with it. I think what I actually said was, no, nah, let's just have a relaxing weekend. We're going to be staying in a hotel. How much more relaxing can it get, David? Yeah, it's like a holiday. It's like a holiday. Like it's just a, a stressful um, holiday. Yeah, we needed to upload the video tonight, and we're like, we're going to get Wi-Fi. We're going to get Wi-Fi. We're just paying $200 for it. <laughs> $200 upload. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Okay, say that again. And that's why you guys need to subscribe to our channel because we go out of our way to produce this content, this crazy content. What did we get? That was my best bear spraying moves. <laughs> we got some bear spray, AKA pepper spray. And our car's still in the parking lot. We're talking about mm, maybe an hour later. We're on our way over to the closest hotel, which is that Delta there, and we're gonna uh, check in. <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this. Like, this morning, we did not know we were gonna be at the Marriott. <laughs> we're not Staying here because Marriott. we're fancy, we're here because it's close. We're and broken, we don't have a car. Priced. <sighs> Got a spot for a couple of homeless people. Okay, Delta. Let's see you. I gotta say, this room is actually pretty good. Pretty modern, you know, modern fixtures. Got that, you know, rectangular lamp. Oh, it's a cupboard there. Stone bench tops. Wow, a light that comes on when you walk in. Fancy. It's all pretty schmick. All right, we're gonna leave you guys here. And we'll give you an update in the morning with our car and everything, but we're just going to go and get some supplies. Like a toothbrush, toothpaste. Maybe some food. I love the snow. However, I get scared driving long distance in the snow. It freaks me out. But I know if it's snowing here, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be snowing in the next two hours of our drive. So, let's update you guys. We just got a phone call from Canadian Tire and it's going to be expensive. $950. But hey, that's only about six weeks wages, so we'll, we should recover, no worries. Yeah. Things like this happen when you're traveling and we earn a minimum wage, but this is real life. Like you're going to have to fork out sometimes. It's going to happen. The good thing is that we can, the car's getting fixed, we're gonna pick it up this afternoon and we can drive back home safely. I'm We're about to have positive. some leftover Popeyes for breakfast because we ordered way too much last night. I said to David, don't order that much. And he said, when you get Popeyes, you gotta do it right. <laughs> and then he ordered a whole bunch of stuff from Popeyes. We just checked out of our hotel. At this point, we're just wandering around with no car and no house, I guess. And no time of when it's going to be finished. But the snow has already all dried up. And it's sunny, but it's still a bit cold. We literally just got to the shops and then probably five minutes later, Canadian Tire called us 
to say that the car's ready. So I left Sarah there shopping. I'm going to get the car and then I'll go back and pick her up. Okay guys, just got the car back. Um, it's better, it's definitely not fixed. They pretty much charged us the money and then they told us, oh yeah, you might still have to go to Ford to get the thing reprogrammed so it drives correctly. So that's where we're at. Probably still go back and see them um, and just let them know I'm not happy. All right, so we went back to Canadian Tire. They told us that they can refund the price that whatever Ford has to charge us to fix it. So we're gonna leave it at that for now. The car's drivable. Just filled the tank and we are headed home. We're probably gonna leave you guys here. Thanks for coming along this crazy adventure with us and we hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you later.